It's very important that we are in environments, right? Or we're in community with people and individuals who, you know, add on to us and help build us up and lift us up or and build with us and lift with us rather than tear us down. Hey, family, welcome back. You're checked in with Amir Nazir. And before we get started with today's video, family, I wish you all inner wealth which we know is the overall state of our holistic health. So today's video family is about the social determinants of health. And these social determinants can usually be thought about in about five different domains. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and identify these five domains and provide just a quick summary of each, right? And so starting with the first one, we have economic stability. So in simple terms, this relates to the affordability of healthy foods, healthcare services, and even housing, right? And so if one is unable to afford those three things, we know this will lead to, unfortunately, health conditions, maybe some chronic diseases, and overall, a person who is not holistically well. And so again, economic stability plays an important role in one's maintenance and the sustain, sustainability of one's holistic health. The second social determinant of health that I identify is education, access, and quality. So let's say a child or a student is born into a low-income family or has a disability or even experiences social discrimination. This may lead to that student or child developing an inability to read effectively or do well in math, which then limits their ability to access higher education or even quality education, which then leads to a lack of economic resources and ability to achieve upward economic uh, movement, which then can result in the development of said diseases such as depression or diabetes or heart disease. So again, we see here, family, a correlation between education and health. So the lack of access one has to education, it's a direct relationship with one's health, unfortunately. And so moving right along, family, the third social determinant of health I do want to identify is then healthcare access and quality. So one in about 10 Americans actually don't have health insurance, which is insane. And when we think about healthcare access and quality, some may not have access to a primary provider if they live extremely far away. And Unfortunately, if one is not insured or if one doesn't have access to a primary care provider, then one does not have consistent access to preventative care services, which it, again, family leads to what? A person or an individual whose holistic health is now again being compromised when we think about access to health care and the quality of it as well. So again, this access to healthcare is a direct correlation with one's inability to sustain his or her holistic health, right? And so the fourth social determinant of health I wanted to discuss would be social and community context, right? So this relates to our personal relationships and even professional. So how does your relationships look like with your coworkers, with your family, with your friends, you know, with your community? You know, these external factors and uh, these external relationships have a direct correlation on our inner wealth, which we know is overall state of our holistic health. And it has a, a direct impact on our ability to be whole and prioritize our holistic health. So just being mindful of our social experiences and social interactions 
goes a long way and it's very important that we are in environments right or we're in community with people and individuals who you know add on to us and help build us up and lift us up or and build with us and lift with us rather than tear us down or contribute to stress or contribute to habits, thoughts, beliefs, or attitudes that are negative and that actually promote death in regards to our health rather than life, which enhances our health. And so the fifth social determinant of health that I want to discuss family is neighborhood and built environment. So this refers to pretty much this one live in an area that's noisy. This one live in an area that has clean air, or water, or is it dirty air and water? And then is the environment safe? Does this person experience a lot of uh, violence? Does this person work in an area that has safe conditions? Or does this individual work in an environment or space that doesn't have healthy or safe work conditions? And so our environment plays a role, of course we know in our health as well and also affects the state of our holistic health and so it's important to have a healthy work environment it's important that we have access to that clean air and we have access to clean water and that we're in neighborhoods that are safe for us our families and our children because without access to these necessities and without the prioritization of these necessities again we again put our health at risk we put our holistic health at risk and unfortunately when our holistic health is at risk this then leads to an imbalance in us internally first so spiritually first we'll experience an imbalance and then everything then afterwards becomes a physical manifestation of what we are enduring on an internal and spiritual level and so these were just the five social determinants of health that i wanted to share with you all family when we think about the importance of our holistic health there are factors that can contribute to these you know such as the economic stability such as education access and quality such as healthcare access and quality such as neighborhood and built environment and then of course we discussed social and community context and so again family i hope today's video was informative in some regard and just wanted to with this video i just wanted to set a a foundation for understanding other factors that can affect one's holistic health when we think about it in terms of you know this our social life right when we think about it in terms of these social factors that exist within our ecosystem of lives right and so i hope again you enjoyed today's video and in my next video family i'm going to share with you all an update about my lock journey you know i think it's been a long time and so in next video i'll give an update about my lock journey and until then family you know i wish you all inner wealth which we know is the overall state of our holistic health peace